Both those kids are great kids. They're both seniors. They've been in our program. Uh, Mike is a transfer, so he came in just a year ago. Um, but, uh, you know, the two kids that have tremendous stories, you know, coming from, from Africa and coming to the United States, different ways, different channels at different times of their life, but, but still the background that they have and, and a part of our culture here at Winona State is to be so accepting. And, uh, you know, they fit in from the day they walked in the, in the deal and, and living with our guys. And, you know, that creates a, an atmosphere that college sports is supposed to be like. Is that diverse? And, and here it is, and they're living it every single day. I came over when I was about uh, in seventh grade, and yeah, it was a, it's been a, a g great experience. I mean, I, I can't, there's nothing I don't like, I don't love about it. It's uh, definitely a better life, but uh, yeah, I, mi I miss it. I haven't been back since. But, um, yeah, it was a good, good experience. Uh, crazy uh, how different it is, it is here compared to over there, but I'm getting, I'm used to it. I know we had a lot of family over here, so it was good to come, come over and see them and live with them and stuff like that. Cause I hadn't seen them in a, a long while, so yeah, that's for, as far as I know, we wanted to move closer to family. He's a good player. He's, he's really turned out to be. You know, he's long and strong, and, and a good athlete at corner. Um, they don't. He doesn't get a lot of balls thrown at him, and I think that's great to challenge the other shorter guys. But I think he's proved himself worthy as an all-conference player the last couple of years, and uh, and he's a kid, kind of a leader on that defense, and uh, you know he's got tra tremendous ability, um, and he's a physical player, so it's fun to watch him. So, Larry Bayou made the sports transition from high school to college well. How was his transition from Africa to Minnesota? Uh, it took a while, especially when it comes to winter. <laughs> the, whole cold, the whole cold and snow thing, I'm, I'm still not used to the cold part, but uh, it is cold like I've never, I've ne never experienced before, so yeah, I'm still getting used to it. I still don't like the cold. <laughs> I wish my mom would have picked Texas or something like that, but you know, I'm used to it. Bayou is studying graphic design at Winona State. What does he plan to do with his degree? Well, a dream job would be to work for like, uh, with my graphic design degree, a dream, a dream job would be to work for a company like Nike or something like that, a sports company, because obviously I'm an athlete and it's something I'm pretty passionate about working with sports. So yeah, that'd be, that'd be a pre pretty cool thing to do. The other African-born player on the WSU roster is Mike Ayobebe, a native of Nigeria. His family also moved to the Twin Cities area, but his first collegiate stop was not at Winona State. Yeah, he was at Duluth. He was at the junior college, uh, Rochester first, uh, and then he came. Then he went to Duluth. Didn't like it up there. Was there just a, just a semester, and that uh, transferred down here. And ever since he walked in the door, we, we saw him in the weight room and really didn't know who he was at that point. And uh, from there, uh, he was a big, strong kid. And I said, hey, come on. And he's just an awesome personality and all that stuff, so I'm excited for him. Coming in here, actually, I wasn't, I wasn't like recruited to play football. I just actually came in for my education. But while I was working out, you know, a couple of the coaches, they, they seemed pretty cool. They talked to me, asked me if I still wanted to play. And I was, I, I thought I could still play, so I just gave it, a, gave it a shot, and here I am. We get along pretty good, and we, <laughs> we since we know a lot about each other, we, we get along pretty good. But yeah, that's my, that's my guy. It was cool to know that there's somebody else here that shared the same experience as me. So I, it just made me a little more comfortable when he came on the team. Why did Mike Ayobebe's family come to the United States? Just to get a better life. Actually, uh, from Africa, we, uh, my dad first left the house and went to Italy to go pretty much uh, Get, get, uh, get, get the family right and then we ended up move, moving over there to go join him. And then after that my mother actually won the lottery visa, which is uh, I think it was something that Bill Clinton started to get people like indigenous people to come here and get a better life. So my mom actually was lucky enough to win that and she ended up uh, bringing us over here. So if it wasn't for my, for my mom I wouldn't be here. When we were talking about places to live um, I was automatically thinking places like New York, Los Angeles, or Chicago, or something like that. When my, when my dad said Minnesota, I was, I don't know, I was kind of like, I don't know where, I don't, I don't know where Minnesota is. I don't know what, 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 what Minnesota is about, but, you know, c coming here was, was the biggest, I mean, it was, it, it, it was the biggest, rightest thing that my dad ever could ever do. So I'm, I couldn't, I, I couldn't be in any other place.